I'm currently sat underneath an oak tree in Wiltshire, England. But in 24 hours, I'll be in Kenya. And I know what you're thinking. Why should I care? Well, you don't know who I am. There are three things you need to know about me. One, I'm very tall. And yes, the weather is good up there. Two, my glasses are very thick and they make my eyes look huge. And three, I love photography, mainly wildlife photography. Now in 2016, I spent two months living off grid in the Canadian wilderness. I was there with the legend that is Trapper Rick. He's been living out in the wilderness for 30 years. He's been protecting the grizzly bears and I learned a hell of a lot from him. He's full of knowledge and bushcraft skills and he's jam-packed full of stories and boy oh boy does he love telling those stories. But I wasn't just there to make a friend. I was there to do a photography project on the grizzly bears of the Kakweekan River. Now, it was the first time I truly submerged myself into a photography project. I learned what I did like, what I didn't, what worked in a photo, what didn't, as well as how to approach a wild animal without scaring it and capturing that perfect moment when the animal shows its true self. From that trip, I got a job working as a wildlife guide for Sailcone Grizzly Bear Lodge. This granted me unbelievable access to night inlet via a boat. From there I could find humpback whales, orcas, dolphins, grizzly bears along the coast and black bears. It really was a photographer's paradise. I was hoping to go back in 2020 but as you know things were a little different than normal. So I decided to explore my local woodland instead and practice my craft at home. Just up ahead is a spot that I'm gonna sit down, wait, set my camera up, and hope that a deer or two walk into the frame. So there's a little bit about me. Can you see why now me going to Kenya is going to be so cool? I'm going to be in the Maasai Mara for about three months and I want to bring you along with me. I've been practicing my filmmaking but I'm by no means a filmmaker. I am a photographer at heart but I want to show you what it's like to be a photographer in possibly one of the world's most amazing wildlife locations. There's nothing more to do other than get there. Right, well, I'll see you soon.
Well, I'm here. Now what? <laughs>